I'm going to demonstrate the use of the standing frame feature of the rehab station. Um, this standing frame feature is not designed for passive standing with a participant. This is for somebody who does have some active standing ability um, and can assist some with the standing process. However, that's a, a good option for uh, helping someone to maintain standing for longer periods of time and build their standing tolerance uh, with appropriate protection. Um, so that you can uh, work on other things with the patient or client at that time. Um, so a couple things we can do with the standing frame harness that uh, basically wraps around the patient's um, um, uh, butt and um, provides the support needed to hold them in place. Um, one option to get this in place is just to lay it into the chair first in this fashion here um, with the red buckle here on the right and the blue on the left here down between the legs and actually then transfer the patient into the chair onto the, um, onto the harness itself uh, for easier positioning. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate and show you the position of the harness um, in a standing position here first um, so that we can show you the proper positioning before we sit down. So come on over here. Um, so the harness is going to be, go ahead and turn that way, it's placed underneath, around the patient, and there is a uh, belt here, waist belt, that we're going to go ahead and clip in place. There's two uh, metal rings here that we want those evenly placed um, on each side. We can just snug this. It doesn't have to be too secure. It's just going to hold the harness in place so that it doesn't flop around. You can see there are leg pieces that come up between the legs and provide some security so the harness will not slip up in a standing position. These do not have to be applied very firmly. Just a nice, just take up the slack um, so that it holds things in place. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and get into the device. So go ahead and place that there and have a seat. And so as you can see we can we have the two um, leg wraps here extended and we can take our red and clip into the red indicated strap. Take our blue Clip into our blue indicated strap. Oops. A waist belt. Like so. And our two metal rings here evenly positioned on the uh, on the hips. So we're gonna go ahead and take our wheelchair, move it into position. And we're gonna bring the clients so their their knees are close to or near the um, knee pad is that has been positioned. Um, before I do that, let me go ahead and show positioning of the knee pad itself. Let me go ahead and pull you back out. So the knee pad is a separate uh, purchase that can be uh, um, done at a separate time to add to the unit if needed. Um, so it's got some extensions here that have little notches in those and you just hold onto the handles and place the um, extensions into two slots here on the inside of the unit and adjust the length by which slot those hook into. So right now I have it in this fully extended position. So it's going to be further out. So. We've also taken uh, the rope system that is typically hanging from the device here for use with the harness for balance support. These are also can be used for the standing frame feature. In this case, we're going to go ahead and take these and we're going to take the side that has this blue ropeman on it and we're going to hook it into the device on typically the number three attachment point on the side here. And I'm also going to take my handles here and just lower them or raise them a little bit adjusting so for the patient's height. But so I also have access to this number three uh, attachment point. So I have this just slightly lower than that so I can get easy access to this. So I have it draped here. And now I'm going to do is give myself a little slack here by pulling out and extending some ropes so I can clip into the side. Clip here on the side. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So now what we'll do is we can help the client as they go to stand up. So lean forward and I can grab the bottom of the belt here and we're going to go ahead and stand up. So go ahead and pull up and I can take up some slack on one side like so. Do the same on the other side. And then to take up any extra slack that might be in the system, I'm going to hold the, the, the ropeman here and then just pull any extra slack in like that in place. 
same thing on the other side. Okay. And so now we've secured the uh, patient so that they can work on any other activities, standing tolerance, upper extremity activities in the device, and they are protected from, from falling at this point.